to taxonomy online mathematics we are still on the topic vectors now you are moving to magnitude or the length or modulus of a vector now we are saying that the magnitude of a vector is just the distance between the two points so for example magnitude of vector a b will be the distance between the vector a and b so mathematically or symbolically we represent a magnitude as a b placed in two bars now we want to still use our x y plane to explain this now so if i have the point a and b where the a is not at the origin so it means it's having a point other than zero now we can recall from our pythagoras theorem that if i have a right angle triangle if i am measuring this on the x axis so if i have x if i am measuring this on our y axis then let's say this is our resultant vector the result of a b now we learn from pythagoras theorem to say that the longest side squared equals to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides so x squared plus y squared so if i'm looking for the r itself that become find the square root of both sides give me r equals to the root of x squared plus y squared that is what we learn from pythagoras theorem now we know the r is standing in for vector a b so if i want to rewrite vector a b the magnitude of vector a b is going to be the square root of the x component plus what y component so to find the vector of a point a b if i know the component of vector a b as let's say 4 3 then the 4 as the x component is going to be squared plus the square of the y component then all under the root will give us our uh, magnitude of vector a b now what if we have that you know measuring this on the x axis i can say this will be one two three four the first will be our x one then the next point will be our x two that is one two three so the first one is x if i have taken this part as y one that is one two three if i extend this this could also have our y2 so we know that if I'm, i have the two points if i'm looking for the magnitude as in x it will be from here to here i want to know the length the magnitude how long it is if here is five and here is two i know that the distance between this point is going to be three because from two i go to three four and i go to five so it will be three units simply put the x2 minus what x1 so we can see write our x to be x2 minus what x1 similarly if i'm looking for the y it will be if here is five here is two the distance which is the magnitude will still be three so the y will also be y2 minus y1 so if i want to replace the x with the y1 the y2 minus y1 then my magnitude of a b is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1 all square before the x is already square plus y2 minus y1 all square so this is what we have if the the magnitude of the vector a n as in this case is not given to us but the point at which a is being given to us and the point at which we have our n is also given to us in that case we find the magnitude between a and n that is the second x point minus the first x point squared then the y also follow suit so that will be for the magnitude so in case i have Let's say we have a point A
if you have a, a question like this, we have the point A and the point B. We are asked to find the vector AB. So what we do is that we will write this as a position vector of OA equals to 3, 4. We write the position vector of this as OB, 7, 1. Now, to write this as a vector, we can go direct or we can still find the position vector of AB. For example, this, we know that position vector of AB is going to be the OB minus OA. That is, if I want to find the magnitude, as we did on the diagram, the x1 minus x2, I can follow this procedure, where I have this to be 7, 1 minus 3, 4. So if I have this, this is going to be 7 minus 3, 1 minus this, and that will give us 4 minus 3. So it means I have my vector AB giving us 4 minus 3. Therefore, the magnitude of AB is going to be just the square root of x squared plus what? y squared. Because I now have the x value and the y value. So straightforward, the square root of 4 squared plus the square root of minus 3 squared. So if I do that directly, I will be finding the values of what I am looking for directly. So now let's see. This is going to be the square root of 4 is 16. Square root of minus 3, that will be negative 3 times negative 3. That will give us 9. So in this, I will be having root 25, which will give us 5 unit. So therefore, the magnitude of vector AB will just be 5 units. If I want to find the position vector first before finding the magnitude, this is what I'll end up getting. But what of if I want to use the formula directly? That is the second formula that we have. Let's say, let me take off the position vector. If I take off the position vector, we'll be having magnitude of AB equals to the square root of x2, x1 squared, so from this point, don't forget I've already written this as a, the code, how do you call it, the position vector, so I can say this is our x1, y1, then this also become our x2, y2. So under this square root is going to be x2 is what? 7 minus x1, 3, all squared, plus y2, which will be 1, y1, which will be 4, all squared, so in this case, I have my, under the bracket, I have 4 